Today, I will show you how to stitch the brand new Insta360 Pro 2 right here with Mexican VR. If you order Pro 2 from the official website, aka from the link below, and getting the batteries and charging combo for free, you also get a three months free Mexican VR subscription. For those of you who just stumbled up on this video and have no idea why you need Mexican VR to stitch, here is the comparison. One with the official Insta360 Stitcher and one fixed with the Mystica VR. Pay attention to the stitch line area around the edges of the chair and my moving hands. So, if you are ready to learn how to fix your problematic 360 VR video, let's get started. <laughs> Later in the void. What the hell are you? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. <laughs> One eternity later. So, if you watch my old Insta360 Pro camera and Mystica VR integration, you know there is a magic button to make everything just work without really stitching anything. Not for the Pro 2 right here. Or at least not at this point. But Mystica VR does work with the Pro 2 seamlessly. And here is the missing menu. Let's take a look at this footage shot very close to the Insta360 Pro 2. Too close that no matter what event setting you choose in the Stitcher software, you will get stitching issue. Especially in front of my optical flow cooler chair. If you shot a lot of 360 videos like I do the past 5 years, you know that complicated vertical light pattern will mess up optical flow stitching. Unless you are those lucky people who have e-halo and use Google Jump. So my bamboo chair will kill the optical flow stitching and you need to manually fix that. Or call your boy here and pay him $800 a day to fix that. <laughs> Okay, don't pay me sh You can just learn it yourself in this video free! Another thing I want to point out that is very special feature of the brand new Pro 2 or even the Pro 1 is the isolated exposure mode. Why is this so powerful? Especially for documentary filmmakers? Well, because what you're going to shoot is live action, not scripted content, or usually you do not have control of the lighting of your environment. Especially in 360. You do not have time to play around each lens in the menu setting like what you usually do in Zcam or Kandao Obsidian. But auto exposure usually expose your scene based on the lens that facing the sun, which your interviewer, who's usually in the shadow, will be underexposed. With the isolated exposure mode right here, you can get the best of both worlds. The ease of a one button setting and expose each lens differently. But there's a problem in post production. How do you match the exposure of each lens in post since they are exposed differently? Well, I will show you in this tutorial as well. One extremely annoying shift later. Step one before we open Mystica or Insta360 Stitcher is go into your document folders right here. Under documents, there's a folder called Insta360 Go open that folder and there inside there's an Insta360 Stitcher. Open that. And there is a log folder. Open that. And make sure you delete everything on here. So I have one file here. Delete that. And then go ahead and open the Insta360 Stitcher. Make sure you update to the latest version first. Go ahead and follow the usual workflow to import your footage from your Insta360 Pro to your PC either via the SD card reader or through the Ethernet cable. So the footage is all in here. Again, for the Pro 2, you have the high resolution original footage 
and the proxy footage and a preview file. You can check the footage, which one you want. So go ahead and drag the entire folder into the local right here. The next step is you don't need to stitch from the stitcher. You just need to generate a preview. So go pick a frame, preferably like middle of your video and set and preview that as a reference frame right here. So now we have a stitch image. It looked pretty good. So one other thing is I will also open this Zena optimization to try to fix the ceiling because the ceiling is actually pretty complicated pattern. So fix it right there. So go ahead and hit set as reference frame and then save and apply. If you go back to the document folders right here, the documents in Star 260, Stitcher, Log, you see it generate a log file and that is actually a stitching profile for Mystica VR. So why not just go ahead and open Mystica? So here is the very important part. How you import the Insta360 Pro 2 footage is actually very important in, in this step. So make sure you actually import it in the revert order. So go ahead and pick the original six lens. That's the original file, but put in the six first. Go ahead and just hit continue. And then number five, continue. Number four, continue. Number three, continue. Number two, continue. And finally, number one. So it's in a reverse order. If you are not important in a reverse order, you can also reorder like right here. You can just drag and drop and you can reorder the footage. But just make sure you are in six, five, four, three, two, one, this order. And then right here under Stitch, go ahead and import Stitch. Go look for the file in generated by the Insta360 Stitcher under Documents. Again, Insta360 Stitcher, lock this file. Go ahead, open that. If you turn off each mode. So after this, make sure you add some feather because you see this hard cut. Go ahead and add around 30. You should look pretty good. As you see, it look pretty good already. And then make sure you also turn off, it's kind of off screen right here, but make sure you turn off the optical flow right here. See, we basically fix all the issue. And that's it, that's what you will usually get if you stitch using the Insta360 Stitcher. Now, in Mystica, we have the exact same quality, but the advantage for using Mystica VR is actually right here. So if you turn off the VR mode and open the lens overlay, if you take a look at right here, the problem of here, let me actually just fast forward to a problem frame. See my hand right here is actually right on the stitch line, according to Mystica. So that would create problem because my hand and the pattern chair is in the optical flow stitching area. With Mystica, we can fix that very easy. Turn off the ammo, go ahead and hit the lens because our concern is lens number six. Go ahead right here, add edge point. Go ahead and add an edge point. If you're in stereo, you can add edge point stereo. For this one is mono, so go ahead and just add an edge point. And right here, let me just zoom out a little bit. This is the edge point, grab it, move it over here to protect the chair and the hand. So if you, again, back here, now you see that fixed the issue. Now you see the hand and the chair. By the way, there's also a problem here where my hand reach out to this area. So go ahead. Again, number six, I will add, I will add another edge point. This time, move it over this side to protect this side of the chair. So there you go. If you go ahead and play the video. Now there's no optical fold issue right here. It's that easy to fix the problem. Remember that I mentioned about isolated exposure and this shot is actually shot in isolated exposure. The sun is right here. So this side of the lens is exposed with the sun, but this side is exposed through the shadow, but the exposure is not balanced. So in Mystica, there's one button called Match Color in Time. You basically analyze your entire sequence based on time change on the, each different lenses. So we we'll match the color in time. So let me just show you. As you see the exposure change, to make sure in the stitch line area, the color will match between lens. So we will not see a hard cut. 
So last thing, we're gonna go ahead and render this and put it into Premiere and do further editing. So standard stuff, just go ahead and hit render. And for Insta360 Pro 2, I actually recommend it using QuickTime ProRes and use the MOV ProRes. This is not a stereo, make sure to hit audio is in movie and go ahead and export render that. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. In the next video, we will review the actual Insta360 Pro 2 camera with real world video footage in both 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. Mono and stereo. If you are interested in learning more about this camera, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give me a like if you find this helpful and don't forget to share. I will be again teaching an other 360 VR masterclass in Able City in New York City on November 12 to 13. We still have a couple seats left, so if you are in New York City and want to learn from me, don't forget to use the limited time discount code below and sign up. I will see you next time. VR Creators Level Up on Creator Up.